Hello and welcome back to Sports Gusto. In this video, we are going to talk about the biggest winners and losers from the 2022 NBA Draft Night. So let's get started. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. The 2022 NBA Draft was full of surprises and most of our predictions turned out to be true. Well, obviously, some players slid. Much to our dismay, the first three names were what we anticipated, but the next ones turned out to be a complete shocker. Did you guys lose any trades? Let us know in the comment section below to see the biggest winners and losers. Stay tuned till the end of the video. This year's draft is definitely going to be in the books, in the sports books all over the world, and they're flooding with the revelation of franchise number one pick, Paolo Banchero. Everyone is hinting that this game will speak for himself when reportedly he was seen at the loss of words in the interview before the post selection. His scoring and playmaking have bought him a spot as one of the league's most intriguing young horse. And Wendell Carter Jr. is to move to the fifth. As far as we are concerned with Carlo, he might as well join Jonathan Isaac and Franz Wagner. That makes them a positionless trio. And speaking about the nightmare on Knights of Orlando, has the ability to attack from any spot on the floor. I mean, look at his figure, it gives it all. Surely, we thought an experience and youth will kick in and bring down growing pains and plenty of losses. Orlando is hellbent on providing us wrong though. Listening to all of these number one picks, do you think Ben Hero may have a slightly softer landing this time when compared to his earlier years? Comment down below. The next winner on our list is Houston Rockets. The doors open for Houston Rockets to take Smith after Orlando was cemented on the draft's top position. Smith has so much potential to end up as the class's best shooter since his records say he has got 42% from deep. It is clearly a seamless fit for him. If this is the case, then the defense has set their gears ready for what's coming for them. He also averaged 2.3 threes and 16.9 points. The next one is the Oklahoma City Thunder. They literally had a monster of a first round. I must say it was a headliner to see Chad Holmgren at number two. They have got a playmaking upside when they went for the number 12 to draft Jalen Williams when Alexej Pogosevsky, Shai Gilgis, Alexander, and Josh Giddy suddenly piqued the interests of many analysts. Why wouldn't they? This is one of the most fascinating combinations of playmaking and size as well. The next winner is the Detroit Pistons. They freaking traded Jeremy Grant. Can you believe that? Not just this, they gave up Isaiah Stewart, Kate Cunningham, and Sadiq Bay for Duran and Jaden Ivey. When you think everything's clicking, we get to see some potential losers. Without waiting anymore, let us dive deep into it. We can see that the New York Knicks got in with the number 11 selection. They trade 11 to pick to OKC, and OKC in turn trades to NYC three firsts. Got all that? Woo! If you want to really know what is going on with the Knicks, then it's probably going to take you decades. Don't think I'm about to pass on your deal gives a better offer to Jalen Brunson. What do you think? If he literally passes on NY after all this, it would be damn hilarious. Fingers crossed, if at all, there may be a silver lining. The next loser on our list is Drewberry Smith. As we previously mentioned in the video, Houston is a winner for losing him. Why everyone granted him a loser even after he has secured the third place is that for weeks we all have been anticipating him to be on the top of the list. Well, looks like it's a hard blow for him. It might be tough to considering how he just slid down the board. We can see him anxious, all thought out, the 10 minutes, waiting for Hongren and Banchero's announcements. The news channel showed the dejected look on his face repeatedly in the green room. Oh boy, if they only knew how hard it was not to feel for him. The next loser we have on this list is the Sacramento Kings. First things first, what the hell is this? Sacramento missing in the stars list is nuts. Almost legitimately staggering to not hear his name after Paolo, Chant, and Jabari. We have been expecting this.